everybody, this is Corey and this is another screencast. Today we're going to look at a program that I've been using a little bit since the Mac Clash Bundle. I actually uh, beta tested this while it was still in development and it's called Little Snapper. Little Snapper is by uh, Real Mac Software. They do a program you may have also heard of called Rapid Weaver, which is an easy kind of build it yourself pro uh, web program. So you build websites, really easy to use, enough said about that. I actually use that quite a bit, so I was excited about this program. Let me quit my messenger real quick. So a little snapper, you have a little icon or a little menu item right here that looks like the front of the lens of a camera. And that's where everything stays at at this point. So when you press that, you get this nice little menu here. You have some preferences you can go to. But let's actually show what Little Snapper looks like. You see I have a few things in here uh, already, some that I've titled, a couple that I haven't. And it has a very, it very much has an iPhoto kind of feel. So anything that you snap automatically goes into this. At that point you can click on the item up here, you can edit information, rank it say what it is so if it's just a regular screenshot a web snap photo illustration anything like that you say what it is and then it makes a collection for you on the side you can publish it to uh, Flickr or a number of other services so I have Flickr and then they also have uh, Rapid Weaver or Real Mac Software's also developed a service called Quick Snap, Quick Snapper. So you can do, you can uh, set those two. I think there's a couple other ones you could do. You can do FTP and SFTP setup as well if you want to publish to those. Uh, but I publish a lot to Flickr myself. Um, so let's kind of dive right into this and show you what it does. First, let's kind of go through some of the commands here. close that because it doesn't want me to use that or not so some of the commands here uh, snap full screen snap area snap window and then um, if you're in a web page you can actually snap a full browser or snap current web page uh, so let's say I want to just grab this I can use the shortcut codes or uh, I can just go and select one of these. So if I want to just snap the window, I'm going to get this little camera here. And it works almost anything I hover over, any actual window that I hover over, it'll select that whole window. So we select that, and it's done. We bring up Little Snapper again, and you can see it's sitting right there. So let me just change the name of that to Tweet Test. It's a screenshot we haven't published it give it a couple tags and it's ready to be published just like that now if I want to snap a web page here again if we just go to the item we can see what the short code is and I want to uh, snap the uh, well, actually, let's open this in Little Snapper. So you can actually open a full web page in Little Snapper, and it's you can click on things and go to them. You can actually navigate through the website. But you can snap things. So I've selected this tool right here, and I can select any part of this web page. So let's say I just like their little logo here. I select it and now I can adjust it I believe. Oh, oh. Uh, probably shouldn't uh, snap a link. I should uh, let me close this. Okay, so 
I want that. I'm going to select that and I'm going to snap it. If we go back over here, you're going to see that that is saved. Now publishing uh, is just as easy. Let me grab something that I can publish that I may not have. Uh, we'll publish this one. Maybe. Let me see what it is. Okay, yeah, we'll publish this. And we're just going to send it to Flickr. And it's done. We can immediately visit the link, see where it's at. And there it is already on the Flickr account. So the built in uploader is fantastic. Um, if you take a lot of screen snaps and you want to upload them to Flickr or anything, it worked great. And you can set your preferences on how you want to do things. So you can get a uh, trial of this uh, at realmacsoftware.com. Uh, give it a try. I believe it's about 15, 30 days. Uh, one of the two. And it retails, I want to say it retails for $39.99. Uh, if you're taking a lot of screen snaps and you want to keep things organized, I definitely recommend this. This is by far my favorite screen snapping application. I've used Sketch, uh, I've used Snaps Pro X, and this has been my favorite one. Something else I like this, you can annotate the pictures and then use another application of mine that I love, Evernote. So annotate it. Do what you need to do with the picture and then drag it over to Evernote and you're all set. Well, that's going to do it for now. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this screencast. And sorry it's a little bit late. And next week I may take a look at an iPhone application. So stay tuned.